love. A wonderful thing that eventually everyone will experience at one point in their lives. Some relationships begin because two people bumped into each other in the school hallway, and their hands made contact as soon as they went to pick up the books. Perhaps they met each other at a bar. They locked eyes and as you hear many times, it was love at first sight. Get yourself cozy, grab a glass of wine, and settle in as we talk about dating in VR chat. So what's it like dating another person in this game? It's similar to how long distance relationships work, you're dating someone who's far far away from you. Before the internet came along, they weren't very common as the only means of communication usually involved either telephone calls or mail. It was challenging maintaining a long distance relationship. But now we live in an age where technology has become more prevalent in our lives to the point where online dating became a term. It started with services such as Match.com and eHarmony back in the early 2000s. And nowadays you have apps like Tinder and Bumble. Services like these have gotten so popular that now, online media is often the main way couples meet each other. No longer does Derek have to expose himself to the blinding rays of the sun to meet girls when instead, he can use VRChat. Oh brother! The game that brings online dating to the next level by allowing players to meet others across the globe while still retaining a sense of physical presence thanks to the use of virtual reality. All Derek needs is some full body tracking and a nice attractive avatar. And from there, he's already on his way to finding the e-girl of his dreams. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Name's Twice. I hate school. <laughs> if you're an avid VR chat player, you're bound to run into couples cuddling together by the mirror. It's become a lot more common. I can tell because I saw this TikTok. So tell me how's it feel? Tell me how's it feel? Sitting up there, feeling so high. Every king needs his queen. After I watched this, I went outside and thought deeply about my life. It was a very moving TikTok. I also thought about how I should start making my own, so I did. Check out my TikTok account at TwiceVRC. VR chat couples can meet many different ways, but it's usually through random public worlds. Whether it's a chill one like Midnight Rooftop, where you'll find many different types of folk, or Among Us. I'm, I'm sure there's a couple out there who met through Among Us. Just let me, let me know in the comments if you have something to say regarding that. But anyways, Namaku is super nice to meet you, you know, I'm glad to have met you, uh, but anyways, how are you two doing? I'm doing alright, how are you? I'm great, uh, let's see, what did I do today? I forgot, I'll be honest. Oh, I play Valorant. The hunt begins! Ah. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What the hell, what the hell, what the hell? Like are you a professional Fortnite dancers? Not Fortnite, just flossing. We. What the? Oh, Yo, I'm, I'm the cameraman, bro. You're a cameraman? Oh, you mean camera, camera dog? It's a cat, you dumbass. You, dude. It's a dog. I'm gonna fucking shove this camera. Who let the dog like, yeah. Listen, let's not get into the specifics of uh, furries, all right? So you two met up in VR chat. You two have met each other on this game. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's great. How did, so how exactly did you meet? I just went to like a random like yes or no automated game. You know, if you've been there before. Mm -hmm. I just kind of vibed with him because he was in a hotel avatar. <laughs> so then I was just, you know, chatting him up and everything. And then we, you know, friended each other and yeah. I think I was joining on uh, on Sky actually, and I was like talking to Sky, and then she was there, and she had just like walked over and like just hung out in my lap. Because if I remember, you were really hung over for the night before. I passed out because I got too drunk, and then woke up like several hours later, and yeah. Goodness me, hey, don't drink, folks. It's not good for you. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> she just she just hopped in my lap and never left. We met in the main mirror of the black cat. You were the one who saw XCR sitting by the mirror? Yeah, well, it was like, I just kind of like... Fucking shit. I was just kind of... <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Keep going. I had been world hopping, like, different instances of Black Cats for maybe, like, an hour or so. Like, I was, like, all by myself. All my friends were off, so I was just like, I'll have some, like, little, like, exploration time, so... It was like my last instance for the night. It was like fucking three o'clock in the morning. Cause this motherfucker was still on his like night shift. So <laughs> he was like still awake and stuff. But uh, yeah, it was like really late for me. And I was like, one more instance and I'm gonna go to bed. She came to the mirror. I was talking with my friends at the time. She sat there for like a whole like hour and a half. Didn't say anything. <laughs> she hasn't said a word, not to anyone else, not to us. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. So the conversation's going, and she switches into this after Diluc, mm -hmm. and I'm like, at the time Genshin Impact, it just came out, and I was playing it, and I didn't see many other things about it. So I was like, in my head, that's that's from Genshin. I know Genshin. So we're just chilling. I don't say a word. I switch into this avatar. 
not two seconds go by. She's like, oh my god, it's Razor! I love Razor! Oh my god! This is the first thing she said in like almost two hours. Really I'm sorry, like, boy. It's Razor! Oh my god, it's Razor! Exactly. The second that I was like, I'm, I might, I'm, I'm gonna regret, regret this. Uh, so how long have you two been together? We have been together for about two and a half weeks. Oh, so wait, this is like new. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's fairly new, but we've known each other since like the beginning of February. Oh, okay. All right, all right, cool. cool yeah, cool, so like cool, we cool. do have some experience. Mm -hmm. Shit, okay. It's been more than a year. <laughs> like a year. year and a few a months. A year and almost a year and almost three months. It's three months on the twentieth. It'll just be shy. ten months in a ten couple months, days. Yes. Damn, ten months, and you already moved in with each other. I saw your your bio. You're engaged. You two are engaged. Yeah, we don't fuck oh. around. Damn, that's crazy, yo. <laughs> So tell me that whole process when you decided, yeah, let's move in together, stuff like that. Like a month or two into our relationship, I went to go visit him for a couple of days. Um, when I had to leave, I like cried like the whole way home. He already suggested about me staying, but I went back because I wanted to get all of my stuff like sorted out before moving. And then we decided like about a month or two later that I was going to move there. What world did you two meet? <laughs> I hate to say this, but it was unfortunately d Tavern. So when it comes to dating in VR chat, obviously it's different from things like meeting people on Tinder or using any of the other dating services that you have out there. How would you compare dating in VR chat mm -hmm. to uh, compare uh, when compared to like those dating services or using things like only Discord or WhatsApp to keep in touch with each other? I say that VR chat is in kind of a weird slot because on one hand, it's as close to like a like a real life dating sort of thing you have on the digital world, but on the other hand. A lot of people will kind of pretend to be something else than they really are. So you, you got that fine line between like realism and like complete fantasy and you have to be really careful about that in VR chat. I think because you aren't always seeing like the person and like how like they look in real life and everything and not everyone has like phantom sense or something like that it can definitely be a different experience than like just talking strictly online or like seeing each other in real life so it is just kind of like that weird in between like you see each other virtually and you're able to see like how you know people you know use their body language and whatnot but it's still online in vr in vr chat so like you can have more experiences, like, almost like real life. It's not quite real life, but like, you can still go out, you can watch movies, you can play games, stuff like You can like, have some sort of physical interaction, is on your side at least. Damn, those oh, doggies oh are Oh my barking. god, you scared the fuck out Do you think that VRChat is a real, viable platform for dating or looking for relationships? I will say yes to the first part, but no to the second part. A lot of people try to treat this like a dating platform and they just walk up to any female avatar and be like, Hey, yo, shoddy, what's good? Give me your Discord. It is a viable platform, yes, but too many people are focused on that being the end goal of the type of VR chat. I mean, it is a social application for if you're to make friends, make memories, and then if you're fortunate, romance will also happen in addition. VR chat is, I would say, uh, something special. It is online. But if you have VR, you know, you're able to move your hands and, you know, uh, Exactly, you have, you have a you body, you know, you have full an body avatar, tracking. you have a presence, you know? Like, I could, like, hug you, you know? Like, <laughs> hey, yo, 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 hey, don't look! Ah, uh, but mm. anyways, that's it, that's the whole thing. Yay! You did good, Yay! you did good! <laughs> seriously, guys, seriously! See, it wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> <laughs> that's it, you did it! Wow, oh my god, thank you so much for taking the time, I appreciate it. Ah, uh, marriage. The uniting of two individuals whose lives are bound together until the end of days. It's like, getting straight to the point, yes, people have gotten married in VR chat, albeit it's usually nothing serious and it's often a form of roleplay. The first time I went to a wedding, I was in my freshman year of high school and I was like, what the uh... fuck? I still have the photo I took during that event. These two are obviously not together anymore, I mean, we were all young and dumb at one point. Bye. I think I'm funny. Oh, you're so warm. Couldn't help but notice your porch from across the floor. I have yet to hear about a marriage between two people who met in VRChat evolve into an actual one. Again, usually because marriage events in VRChat are just pretend. But hey, what do I know? But if any of you guys have stories about marriage in VRChat, please leave a comment down below so I can read it. VRChat is a social platform open to the masses. You'll meet all different types of people. Your e-boys, e-girls, furries, and your Sonic role players. You are not faster than light. I can go to infinity descent, bitch. 
Okay, with a child on your- But because of how diverse people can be in this game, not just their personality, but also their age, VRChat can be home to some weird individuals. I saw this one e-couple sitting together by the mirror. It was, it was something I haven't seen before. And then I clicked their bios. The guy was 20 and the girl was 15. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? After that, I sat in the dark and thought about how much longer we can function as a society. The minimum age requirement to play VRChat, despite it basically being ignored, is 13. So yes, kids who are about to enter their freshman year of high school are going to be exposed to those who are much older. Although somewhat uncommon, you do have some weirder individuals who actively seek relationships with minors. Who's a minor? Okay, well, I, I have screenshot evidence of you hitting on these girls. Uh, How old are you, dude? Unfortunately, these types of interactions do exist, not just in VRChat, but other social media platforms like Discord, for example. The internet in general can be a disturbing place. There are people out there who will lie and manipulate others just to get some fee pics. If you're under the age of 18 and you're watching this video, stay safe out there. Watch out for these types of folk. But twice I love them, they mean everything to me. Consider the following. <laughs> Let's put that topic aside for now and talk about something a little more spicy. This next section is meant for a mature audience, so if you're not an adult, go ahead and skip to this time frame. Go, go, go now. Save yourself for what I'm about to say. Trust me, I am saving your ears. For the purposes of hoping that this video stays monetized, I will be using specific phrases and words such as juice, juicing, the juice, and juiced rather than their more explicit counterparts. I took a little survey of some of you guys regarding ERP in my Discord server which you can join at discord.gg slash twice village. And well, I'm sure that most of you know what it is. ERP stands for... Wait, wait a minute, that can't be right. ERP stands for Erotic Roleplay. Let's just say that when mommy and daddy love each other very much, they get a room at Just B Club. <laughs> oh, well, there's another, there's another one. one! There's another one! Okay, okay. Alright, alright. Hello! Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in you! <laughs> My VRChat crash, bro! What the fuck? ERP is something that isn't spoken about too much in the VRChat community, and for good reason. What game are you playing? Beat Saber? There are actually a decent amount of worlds that are dedicated to ERP in some shape or form. Private rooms that you can lock, interactable objects, and a mature aesthetic or vibe. In some worlds, ERP may not be the main focus, but the tools needed to do so are available. But in other worlds, however, it goes all out. Hey honey, dinner's gonna be ready in a couple- There are even VRChat ERP Discord servers that you can join to find people to get the juice with. This one server, for example, allows users to describe themselves for everyone to see using roles. What kind of ERP role covers your situation? What is your orientation? What is your lovey situation? What's your setup like? What is your VRChat rank? Are you a pet or a master? What is your personality What are like? your kinks? Where would you like to be touched? Do you want to play on our Minecraft server? I made this video a bit of time ago where I said, you can be anything you want in VRChat. I wasn't lying. A lot of people who participate in getting the juice tend to wear the respective avatars for the occasion. With the power of Unity, Blender, and other tools, you're able to put juicers on your avatars or have a set of dispensers on them. You can add physics to these body parts and add colliders so that other people can interact with them. You can also add special emos, expression, all types of stuff. Another word for these avatars are not safe for work. These types of avatars are not allowed to be shown in public worlds. It's stated in the community guidelines, but that doesn't stop me from seeing 13 year old kids with their Quest 2s running around with their Wii Wii's out because there are some very sneaky public worlds that provide not safe for work avatars for everyone to use. Thanks to VRChat, the act of ERP can be a lot more realistic for some folks. You have avatars that you can wear, you can move your hands, you show body language, and you can bring it to another level if you have full body tracking. And finally, you have what is called Phantom Sense, a phenomenon caused by being real immersed in VR. Some users are actually able to feel different sensations in VR, whether it be a warm, fuzzy feeling from a hug. A tingling feeling when someone touches their arm, or even pain from getting shot or stabbed. Also, if you feel pain while playing VRS, this is a bit extreme. Maybe you should go outside and eat some Subway.
All users have different levels of phantom sense, some only being able to feel it on certain parts of their body, such as their arms or legs, and others like me having almost no phantom sense, except for my face. It's a really interesting topic for discussion. If you want to learn more about it, you can check out this video where it goes more in depth into phantom sense. But ERP doesn't have to be limited to your brain making you feel these sensations that aren't happening to you in real life. It can become a lot more real, while still not being the real thing. Toys! Not these toys, these toys. Allow me to introduce you to Lovins, a company that sells these adult toys for long distance couples. The way they work is that two individuals have their respective Lovins devices and they connect them to each other by using a smartphone app. From there, those two are synced up and they can participate in all the ERP they want. Well, we're finally at the end of the video. I hope you found this topic interesting because I sure did. Check out my Twitter page where I post IRL photos and non-IRL photos. And again, join my Discord server. Links are in the description. Who would have thought that this fun little game would evolve to have all this crazy stuff? I've met some of my closest friends in VRChat and I've put so many hours into this stupid game having a blast and I hope to share that same feeling with you guys. My videos have only tipped the iceberg of what VRChat has to offer and I can't wait to speak with you guys on those in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. あなたの声が道しる